Hello guys and welcome to Motor Beam. The motorcycle right behind me is the Moto Morini Escape. This is an adventure motorcycle from the 650cc category which is just launched in India. So let's see all the details about it. I actually appreciate the designers because this motorcycle does look the part. It is a very very good looking motorcycle. It's an adventure motorcycle and it asks for a lot of its seat because this is a big motorcycle. The seat head over there is of 835mm and it's not just that. The overall look of the motorcycle is like a Dakar motorcycle. It's a tall motorcycle from the front and it leans down to the back and with a good view behind. This does look like it's in its proper place right now. So let's dip deep into the details. If you see the visor is big but it is adjustable with the Allen keys over here. It is not adjustable on the fly so that is something so which I did not like but then again the LED lights over here are LED projectors and they light up the road quite nicely. Plus you get a complete plastic body going all around but the metal cage over here is tough and it does support you quite a lot well. This is a plastic mudguard but you get USD forks and these forks are actually adjustable for preload as well as compression. So that is actually nice. You get LEDs all around so indicators, headlight and taillight are all LEDs. You get 19 inch wheels with dual purpose rubber and this is tubeless spoke wheel. So that is is something that takes off your worry for punchers too. Dual disc setup at the front. It's a parallel twin engine with a good radiator over here. Not a curved radiator though. As you move a little bit behind, you can definitely see that this is a big tank, but it is not as big. It is just 18 liters. So you can do your touring duties nicely. The seat has a curvature, so you can actually mount on this motorcycle properly and stand on it pretty nicely too and lock your legs over here. So that is definitely beneficial. Below, you get a 649cc motor producing 60 bhp of power and 54 Nm of torque, which is good enough. And this pallet wheel motor has a very good rumble as well. The rear tire is a 17 incher with the same Pirelli Scorpion tires, and they grip pretty well in the slushy conditions too. I'll ride it and show it to you again. Tail light is quite decent, but this looks a little bit basic. However, there are a lot of plastic panels used on this motorcycle, so the weight has not been shared, but I guess it is close to 200 kgs, a little bit more than that because it does feel heavy when you ride it in such conditions. What is actually impressive is that you get those tooted foot pegs over here with tooted pegs on the brake lever as well, and the overall structure on standing this motorcycle, the ergonomics is quite a lot comfortable and actually useful for riding off the road or going touring. And the exhaust, it quite nice. It is very nicely designed. It is a single port over here, but dual pipes come to the single chamber, and they come to single over here. Let's hear the exhaust note. You can see that the meter revs quite nicely too, and it has basics of two modes. So with this switch, I can come down over here. I can come to off road change it the way i like it and this is the ride mode see the meter changes too so the overall that overall thing that's there that the uh, response on the power torque abs everything changes with the ride modes too so that is actually good the meter is a colorful tft and it does look quite nice it is bright and over here on the left you get dual usb chargers these are fast chargers so again a plus plus if you want to go adventure touring but the cover is uh, just about okay Overall, this motorcycle feels quite nice and it is an adventure touring motorcycle. So let's ride it in a place where I can't ride properly and talk a little bit more about Riding, it. I actually forgot to mention that this one has basically two variants of it. This is the off-road version with spoke wheels and there is a, a road version too which gets alloy wheels and the seat head of that one is at 810mm. This one has a seat head of 835mm. So if you go, just want to go touring, you can actually pick that and this one you can just stick around if you want to go a little bit more off-road or go scrambling all around like these guys are let's ride this okay so now the escape is right in front of us let's get onto it and let's start riding the moment you hop onto it the 835mm seat head is definitely felt because it is a tall motorcycle turn it on hi I'm going to get out of here I'm going to get out of here bye So the moment you get out of this, this motorcycle is definitely very nice and controllable, very easy to ride. I hope I don't drop it. That is my main moto. Oh nice! This is so freaking good, controllable and definitely to look out for because this motorcycle is an adventure tourer, adventurer.
okay so what i can definitely say is this motorcycle is so freaking nice now you ride it this gets a 649 cc motor producing 60 bhp of power and 52 newton meters of torque i'm not going to change any gears but the control on this lushy pit this motorcycle still has it all man i'm not going to go down either because that's going to be painful let's see how easy it is to take a u turn while sitting on the motorcycle the handlebar turns pretty nicely bring it back okay not too bad not too bad aaja thoda piche ah okay wow the amount of control this motorcycle has is just insane but then again it does feel heavy because i exactly don't know the weight but it is close to 200 kg and you do find it heavy if you ride it slowly too it works quite nice it does not have a quick shifter or it does i'm not really sure about it because it is not shifting as easily still it can get your job done pretty well brakes are quite nice and the feedback from the lever is also decent but then i haven't pushed this motorcycle as much and zubair is already here to help me finish the rest of the shoot so let's do let's do something more about it yeah now when you ride this motorcycle up to a particular control it's quite nice but the moment you give it full send it just freaking goes so that is something that i have been appreciating quite a lot on this motorcycle and it feels quite solid too it's an italian piece italian machine and it is very difficult to take a u-turn if you're stuck the front is stuck so yeah aa gaya chal All you have to do is keep your vision where you want to go. Brake a little, and then just go for it. Woo! So that is the verdict. You get LED lights. Yes, I have already told you. Fit finish seems good. Eight liter fuel tank, but plastic is here. So overall, it's your choice. This is a brand new brand coming to India. If you like it. do like it if you don't don't that's okay thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye